You did it for Oli. Just heard you saying there to your mum, Tommy. What a moment for you. You must have dreamed of this so many times. How does it feel? Oh, um, can't promise I'm not going to swear. No, I'll try not to, but everything in my life, I'll always get a lump in my throat now. I've uh, rehearsed this for many few years, I can tell you that. Um, firstly, I want to say thank you to Glenn. He bought, he bought the worst and the best out of me this year. Um, I absolutely think he is an unbelievable rider, a fantastic... Here he is, look, mate. Right on, mate. Unbelievable. Oh, right you Thank you, mate. Thank you, mate. Your time will come. Your time will come. All this shit on and off, I'll tell you what. You're the hardest fucker. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Good job. I want to say, as always, um, it's for my brother. I dedicate everything I do in my life for my brother. The day I lost Oli, I promised him, I promised him, I will become British champion. This is this day. Um, my life is complete. Whatever happens for me onwards now, I, I'm complete, you know. Um, like I said, credit to, to Glenn. Fuck, sorry. That kid can ride a bike. Um, he uses his head. Uh, and I, I, like I said, I take my hat off to him. Thank you to, to Beer Monster, PBM Ducati. We also want to dedicate this to our our loved boss that we lost this year, um, Paul, because he he took the, the I say the risk in me. Um, I told him, you sign me and I'll give you everything I ever have got. And if it's enough to lift you the title, I'll do it. If not, then that's that. But thank you to Jordan and, and Frank um, and Johnny and the whole team involved. My mum and dad, the investment uh, they put into me and Ollie, the belief in never giving up. My, my sister, my my sister's kids and, and sure, everyone involved, my friends, family, s sponsors, and my wife, Stace. Um, she has enough holidays a year, so she gets a decent share. Break out the red panties, because we're celebrating the night, sweetie. <laughs> but thank you to everyone involved. Thanks to you, Tommy, as well, for putting on a great show, for talking to us now as well. Enjoy your moment, you deserve it so much. Thank you, Matt, cheers, guys. Thank you, Matt, yeah, down here with Kyle Rod. Kyle, six wins this year. Third in the British Superbike Championship. You put on an awesome display this weekend. I think that's the best Kyle ride we think we've seen for a long, long time. You can be incredibly proud of yourself. Congratulations on a great 23, yeah, 23 season and congratulations on a great race there. Yeah, brilliant race. That's probably one of my most enjoyable races. Um, tried my nuts off to win that race. Three laps to go, I had point three, and I thought if I do two qualifying laps here, I should win the race. But yeah, same old, same old. I got absolutely nailed down the back straight and uh, got stuck behind Glenn and then Tommy uh, knew what he had to do. He obviously had to finish second if Glenn was going to win. And the last lap he defended real well, so I couldn't get second. But yeah, I tried my hardest to win that race. I tried my hardest all weekend, all year. Like you said a minute ago, I've had a couple of wobbles, but we've got back and to finish on a, a triple podium, uh, what, what a great year. Must fill you with confidence going forward for 2024. Exactly, especially with my same bike, same team, same crew. Uh, yeah, just all I can say is credit to, to these two boys. I think it's fitting. Half a point, Tommy winning the championship with the loss of Paul Bird. I think it's a, it's a great um, thing to happen. So, uh, yeah, congrats to those two boys. And, uh, yeah, see you all soon. Lovely words and great job, Carl. Well done. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Right, second place. Just uh, congratulating Ryan Vickers there. Glenn Irwin. Glenn, the smile's back now. Um, it was tears earlier on. We had a little chat. Um, you've put together a stellar season. Birdman will be looking down, be super proud. You gave absolutely everything there. Ended up second, but uh, hold your head high, it's been a great day. Yeah, it's... Uh, I won't be able to speak. Um, it's, bloody hell. It's not easy. It's not easy. It'd be the same of all. Um, I, I knew we had to, obviously... We spoke before, I, I had the win near us. Um, you know, I think it boils down to yesterday when I overdone the move on Tommy and uh, you know, Birdman always said, you don't need to be past him, you just need to be beside him. And I, when I done the move into Sterling yesterday, I was I obviously overdone it. And that was a, a six point swing. It put me five and a half behind getting into today. Um, or 10 and a half behind getting into today instead of four and a half. Would have been two wins, it was in, in my control. So coming into that one, I knew, uh, well, the miles was simple, I had to win or be somewhere and have him a couple behind. So I didn't get the, an okay start. Um, I thought Tommy might clear off because maybe he'll read his board and see where I am. And I worked my absolute uh, everything off um, to get into the fight and some strong moves in some of the lads. And uh, I, the first plan, well, when I passed Tommy, you know, it's 
there's a there's a lot of respect for each other. Like I had to run him wide. I had to make him lose some positions. But like you can't uh, you can't knock him off. You know, like I've never knocked a rider off. It wasn't going to be the race where I was going to do it. You wouldn't you wouldn't be fair to do that. So I tried that tactic to run him wide. It worked. He went down to fourth. I thought, okay, that's uh, not bad. Then I seen him in second on the board and thought, I'm not champion. And then I was just seen turn one. It was funny because. I thought I'll slow up and wait on him, and I, as I slowed up, I near high side as I was looking behind. So, lesson learned: I uh, don't look behind when you're leaned over on a superbike. Um, that was probably the that was the next trick in the book. You know, I think the most important thing is I I tried everything. I, there was no more tricks left in the book. I tried to take him wide at Druids, you know, cleanly like waiting, and it was working. Other people were getting involved. I started the last lap. Kyle was in second and I had two things, hope for a red flag on the last lap, which again, you don't really want to hope for. But I came out of Graham Hill and seen Tommy. I was watching the TV screen as I was, as I was racing. <laughs> I have a habit of doing it. And I seen he was in second and, you know, there's no way I was going to start to slow down out around the back. It's too fast, too dangerous. I gave it everything and that's all I can ask for. We had four DNFs, uh, knock hill was my fault. You know, there were some other ones along the way, but at the end of the day, Tommy's name's on the championship. Tommy deserves it. He read a uh, incredible hardest teammate I've ever had. Uh, hey, don't say that. <laughs> I wasn't on your level then. You're the best teammate I ever had. For sure the hardest in terms of uh, the, the rivalry. Um, and uh, full respect to him because he put together a great year. It got hated. But this weekend, you know, we've had the crack. We have actually chatted a lot this weekend. And do you know what? Two guys giving everything for both the same reason. And I think the reason, you know, his reason for winning and being Ollie Bridewell, as I said to his mum and dad there, I can't begrudge that. And do you know what? As a bike fan, I'm really happy for them because they deserve that. Mate, as a bike fan, I'm really happy for both of you. Congratulations on a great year. Look forward to seeing you back next season, Glenn. That number one trophy should have your name on it then. Might have to go to the Sunflower next week to win some. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Fantastic. Well done. Thank you.